At this time of the year, we look back at what targeted attackers have been doing in their campaigns throughout the year, and we also pull out the trends that we're seeing to try and work out what we think is going to happen in the next 12 months or so. For some years, targeted attackers have made use of false flags. This is where they lay a false trail, so it doesn't look like they're behind a particular attack. Now, we think in the future, they're going to take this to the next level by actually laying a false trail to somebody else's door. In other words, actually positively blaming somebody else for an attack. In the last few years, we've seen a relative decline in the numbers of ransomware programs. But actually, what's happening is we're seeing a change of direction. So we're seeing less ransomware, but we think in the future there will be more targeted ransomware. The payoff for the attackers is they can make more money from a single attack on a business compared to infecting lots of individual consumers. The Payment Services Directive, or PSD2, is now full force across the EU. And we think that the opening of infrastructure that comes with that as new fintech companies enter this particular area of the market is going to open up more avenues for attack for targeted attackers. Now, targeted attackers are very focused, and one area they're focused on is critical infrastructure facilities. Now, we don't see huge numbers of these attacks, but obviously they can have a big, big impact. And we believe that as smart devices play a bigger part in our lives, they will become the focus of more and more attacks. And already this year, we saw uh, 10 telcos around the world become subject to an attack where the attackers were able to get into their network. And we saw 500 megabytes of data stolen from NASA using a Raspberry Pi. The famous dictum of Clausewitz, that war is just the continuation of diplomacy by other means, applies also to the cyber world. And what I mean by that is that we see, and we're likely to continue seeing, attacks around geopolitical tensions and around economic uh, issues as well. Targeted attackers are always looking for a new mechanism to try and infect networks. Uh, and we think that will continue as well in the future. And for example, this could be new ways of exfiltrating data from a compromised network, perhaps using 5G, perhaps using Wi-Fi. Also, they're going to continue using supply chains because this has become a very effective mechanism for infiltrating other target networks. In other words, using somebody as a stepping stone to get to somebody else. Mobile devices are now central to our lives, and they're also a core part of the tool set of targeted attackers. Exploits for mobile devices fetch a huge price now, and uh, we think in the future there's no question that they will target mobile devices more and more because there's plenty of valuable data on them, and it's a great way of actually getting information out of a targeted company. It's entirely possible that as we move forward, they will start making use of machine learning techniques to try and um, sharpen their picture of potential targets for their attacks. Now, this is not futuristic. We know from the way ads are targeted at people during elections that this is part of the here and now. And so we think that this is likely to happen more and more in the future. For more information on targeted attacks and what we think is likely to happen in the future, please go to securelist.com.